we have again come up with something new with the CA Premier Accounting Package. This uh, new item which we have added up applies to both uh, CA Premier uh, Super Class, CA Premier uh, uh, Premier Class. Premier Class here is the one which uses the SQL Server. Super Class uses the Access Database. Now, what we have added there is a new keyboard which can be used in an event where uh, you have a touch screen which doesn't have a keyboard. So you only need to uh, call in a keyboard which will help you to capture the information like the normal way you use a normal PC. All you need to do is simply attach also a cordless uh, mouse if you want it that way. But if you don't want to do that, you can still use it the normal way. Yeah. So now let's see what I'm talking about, how this uh, keyboard looks like and how it works. So you log in normally, nothing changes. You push in your password here. After pushing in the password, you select the correct com here. Then from there, you select the depot or the branch where you are, you press enter there. Then from here, what happens from there, you can now select the mode where you want. The keyboard is only available for sales accounting and the POS. Now, to make sure that okay, things are understood properly, I'll try to use the sales module so that you see where the keyboard is. So if you go under customer invoice, you open it there. Uh -huh. So from here, if you want to call the keyboard, you just click here where it says show keyboard. When you click there, you'll be able, in a short period of time, you should be able to see the keyboard popping up. There it is. That's a keyboard which you can use in a, an event where you have a touch screen. So a touch screen is whereby you have, it has no provision for keyboard. So this will help you to capture the, the data the way you want it. So you simply touch in the figures, the letters there, to key it in the, the data which is uh, required. So in this case, that's way how you go about it. To remove the keyboard, you can just uh, close it here. To minimize, you just minimize it like this. So to call it again, you click where the keyboard is. Okay. Um, yeah, there it is. Now to close it, you can close it here. It's gone. Okay. Now. Let's go to the POS and see whether we'll be able to see the keyboard, the soft keyboard as well. Okay, you go under create uh, invoices. Then here, this is where it says it, show keyboard, show touch uh, keyboard. So you click there, you wait a little bit. The keyboard will pop up anytime from now. Yeah, there it is, it has come. Now, for example, you want to experiment how the keyboard works. Remember the keyboard, you can move around with the mouse, you can do whatever you want. This is how beautiful it is. So for example, if I want to start capturing maybe one item here, I, uh, I simply come here. The normal way uh, you capture with the normal keyboard here, you select the tax invoice, this is the POS. Then to go to the next, uh, but you need to press the tab, which you can use it by hand or by a finger, sorry, or anything. So in this case, if I do this, have you seen that the mouse is, the, the cursor is moving, then I'll say again, tab, uh, sorry, uh, tab here. Okay. Um, so you select, uh, uh, sorry. Okay, I will minimize my keyboard there. Okay, because there's a message here, it says the data is required here. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I will select my data there. Okay, then bring back my keyboard here. If I still want to continue using my keyboard, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now, when you press the tab here, Okay, uh, it should be able to move. Move the cursor there. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, my internet is really not doing me a favor. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, it's the same thing. Whether you do it this way, you use a keyboard here. Okay. Let's try it again. I think now I see, no, still the internet is still not doing the right thing as required is connectivity problem here okay um right so where are we now okay let's assume the case i see here okay i select there maybe castle okay to move to the next one i'll press my keyboard here as you can see it's coming there now i come here again and select maybe red rose, okay? Select it there, right? Now to go to the next uh, column, I'll press it there, okay? It goes there. Then now maybe I want to say one item, I'll press one there, yes. As you can see, it goes there. Then I'll say tab again, right? Okay, mm -hmm. now assuming I don't have any more item to, to sell. Then I'll say tab, tab, okay, yeah. Then I'll come here, okay, uh, move my keyboard here, a little bit there up, then uh, uh, bring the cursor here, then backslash here, all right. Again, backslash here, backslash here, all right. How much is suppose I'm given 140? I'll press one, then four here, and uh, zero here, okay? Then we press enter, okay? Now, when you press enter there on the keyboard, the next thing, if I do this, it will calculate the change there. So you suppose I've given the change there, I'll press enter again. Then, now, since um done now, I'll need to press enter so that the double entry runs. Okay, as you can see here, I'll press enter again. The double entry is running in the background there. Okay. So, okay, it has finished. Now it has brought this message here. Okay, let's take a look and see. Okay, please hit uh, the com open button to send the data to uh, the ESD. Then I'll say okay. So instead of clicking where it says okay, I can simply say, okay enter there okay that's it it's gone now i will simply minimize my keyboard here then i come here and open my com uh, port here now as you can see here um the number is uh, the last invoice is not showing there all that i'll do i will simply close my keyboard here okay after closing my keyboard I'll cross the I'll cross the form here to refresh it, then come back here again, all right? Then uh, invoice creation again, then come and check it here. Okay, okay, that's the number which is there. Then I'll simply say, okay, fine. Open com port, right? The com port is open here. Then process it there. Okay, I'll wait a little bit for the gadget to respond here. Once it uh, responds, uh, it has already responded, meaning the invoice is already signed up. Okay, so now I'll simply come here and select that number, which uh, that invoice number, and print it here. All right? Oh, sorry, print it here. Okay? Yeah. If you have a direct printer, you can go to direct POS print receipt. That's all. There is our receipt. You can see it. Right? That's it. That's way how you, you do it. Nothing is difficult here. So we are done, right? This was a short video for you. Yeah, to show you what we have added in. In an event where you have a touch screen, 